Thank you, Mr. President. It's a truth rarely admitted in this chamber that the European Union can be a remarkably uncomfortable trading neighbour. The countries of the former Soviet Union now find themselves in the position that a number of ex-Warsaw Pact states found themselves in in the 1990s, where they are squeezed between two large dirigiste trading blocks. When we talk about partnership agreements with countries in the Caucasus, in the Balkans, we are remarkably reluctant to open our markets to the things that they do best, coal, steel, textiles, and above all, agriculture. And instead of offering them a straightforward uh, free trade deal, we try and draw them into the Euro nexus of subsidies and support and regulation. This is the last thing they need. These are countries with educated and industrious workforces with a relatively low cost of living with the opportunity to export their way into the market through cheaper exports. All they need is the ability to sell freely and without hindrance.